I don't know if the sun is affecting it, but hopefully you can all see. I have the side bags taken off. And this is the left side of the Harley Davidson Road Glide CVO, the shock, the rear shock that is. And you can see this is the only shock that actually has some type of adjustment. And this is the only adjustment. Let's make my way around. I already have the bike jacked up. And this is the right side. No adjustment. These are stock Harley Davidson. I don't know if they have branded Harley Davidson, uh, but these are the stock shocks that come on the 2021 Road Glide, CVO Road Glide, that is. So I'm about to put on some legends. Just want to do a quick uh, little boat uh, video here uh, showing uh, what the originals look like. Be back in a minute. So now we have the Legends Revo A rear shocks installed. You can tell they're the Revo A because you have this. Oh, let me see, can I get down there? Uh, yes, you have your dampening adjustment right here, this knob here. And I have it set to three on both sides. Uh, let me switch to the left side as well. Now uh, we have adjustment on both sides. That's the left side. Of this 2021 Harley Davidson CVO Road Thrive, that is. And again, there's your adjustment as well. These are 13 inch rear shocks. And now I'm going to set the sag according to my weight. Oh, yeah, that's much, much better. Sounds good and feels good. Hey YouTube, Ralph here. Out on another ride. And today, we're gonna be talking about suspension. The suspension on my 2021 Harley Davidson CVO Road Glide. Yes, I upgraded the suspension to Legend suspension. Legend's Revo A to be exact. Now some may know, or well, most may know that I actually own Harleys now. The suspension, the rear suspension that is, that comes standard or stock on these Harley Davidson Touring models is not the best. You only have an adjustment on one of the rear shocks and that is the left rear shock and no adjustment on the uh, on the right at all and I think the left shock you only have uh, I won't say preload but it's not I don't think it's a uh, uh, rebound I think it's rebound you're adjusting the rebound on that one but at any rate um, up, up, updated uh, to these new legend Revo A and I must say, they feel wonderful. It's night and day, 200% better than the stock. I have adjustments on both shocks, that is. And I'll throw a picture up in the corner there to show you what they look like. I chose to go with the anodized ones just to give it a little bit of that bling factor. Now I'm out on one of my typical rides or typical routes that I would normally ride. And I wanted to come out to test the new suspension. And I'm intentionally looking for, I guess, potholes, manhole covers, when I come across them, or any bump in the road that I would normally traverse when I'm out here riding just to see how these shocks perform or absorb the Im imperfections in the road. And I must say, so far, good. As a matter of fact, great. I would almost say <laughs> it feels like I'm riding on the, on the goal wing. Riding in luxury, that is. It definitely, definitely feels good. Let's 
like my phone is disconnecting there back and forth. I'm not certain why what that's about. <laughs> try that for right now okay all right back to it it's a little bit windy out here today but i'll take it but i am out here enjoying this ride now the stock suspension is actually only 12 inches and it's a low suspension and it's really really harsh it almost felt like i was riding on a hard tail <laughs> uh, i'm gonna hit a bump on on that uh, while riding that uh, before I changed the suspension out about a month ago and I made the decision at that point the uh, adjustment is not going to quite get it so I'm, I'm going to have to upgrade to some uh, aftermarket suspension and I looked at the Olings I looked at the Fox shocks as well did the review a couple reviews on some of the world noted shocks and I decided to go with the legends it was a back order on the Olings particularly the Screaming Eagle and I didn't want to wait to get them halfway through the summer I wanted I wanted them now So I can get out and put some miles on this Harley. Now these are the 13 inch, like I say, uh, Legend Revo A. And of course it did uh, raise the rear of the bike up. I know people would love to slam down look of these baggers. I actually like both looks, whether it's low or whether it's sitting up pretty level like a like an ultra limited but I like to look either way and it's not about just about um, how the shocks absorb the uh, bumps in the road it's how your motorcycle feels, how it actually tracks in the turns. Does it track better? I would say yes, it does. With the original suspension, I always felt as though I had this this uh, this motion going back from side to side when I'm in a turn, particularly at a little bit. Uh, at a, I don't say a high rate of speed, but you know, up around 60, 70 mile an hour in a turn. Wasn't confidence inspiring. Speed camera almost got me. Even though it appears that school is actually out. But anyway, back to back to the suspension. Now I did take it out on the highway to test to see if I had that exact same feeling, and no, it is totally different. I don't I don't get that that feeling that I uh, had with the original suspension. sounds so good so if you're in the market or if you're looking to upgrade your suspension uh, take a take a look at the legends like I said I looked at legends look at Fox and I also looked at the old lanes particularly at the uh, screaming eagle uh, which is this area there the screaming eagles there they were on back order so but I ordered mine my suspension through is this bus going to stop Right there, good. Um, I actually ordered mine through Rosilla, right? And it took two days, I think. Yeah, instead of uh, two months. <laughs> but that's it. That's the only thing I had to really talk about today. I'm going to continue riding on here, and hopefully this video turned out to be pretty decent. It appears that I'm sitting up 
a little bit higher of course looks like my camera uh, we'll see when I reviewed it is actually above uh, my windscreen there and it's uh, I'm getting a clear view there but anyway Again, I'm going to uh, continue on and hopefully now that the weather's trying to break, do a lot more recording. Now, I've been riding, I just haven't been recording. So I guess I'll get back to uh, doing some more recording here so I can post some videos. And I do have some footage that I actually haven't uh, did any edits yet to actually post uh, that was a confidence inspiring turn there I didn't expect to scrape anything but and a lot of clearance but anyway back to the ride here I'm gonna be out for about uh, another 30 minutes so I'm going across these bumps right now on this road here and Hey, it feels real good. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you uh, what you like when it comes to suspension. If you actually change your uh, suspension on your Harley Davidson touring model. And until next time, see you.